So you've been making beats for a while now and you just can't help but notice that all your beats sound the same. Well, I've actually been there myself and I started looking for reasons why this was happening. I kept changing up melodies, learned new drum patterns, I even learned sound design and all those things were really helpful but the beats I uploaded still didn't get any views because they all sounded the same. I felt like I wasn't good enough, that I just didn't have the talent. After wasting hours and hours I finally came to a conclusion. I had to change something about my 808s. No, I don't want you to go to the same jungle that I went through so I'm gonna lay everything down for you guys. You know what would get boring really fast? Using the same 808 sample over and over again. It's like hearing the same hit song over and over again every morning when you're driving off to work. You have different type of 808s. Use them. Depending on the type of beat you're making you can choose between short ones, long ones, different styles, whatever fits your beat. Now if you don't want to use another 808 sample for some reason you can always manipulate it until it sounds completely different. You probably know this but when you set the 808 to cut itself which is something you should always do by the way the 808 will play its entire length until the next 808 comes in. The note before will be cut off but we need something more something that gives us more control. If you open up the 808 sample properties head over to the envelope turn down every control except for the hold knob go back to the piano roll and draw in a note randomly. If you make the midi note short FL will now play the 808 for the same length as the midi note. This can be useful when you want the 808 to end at a specific location. Sometimes if you want to have a static hard knocking beat it sounds really good to make the 808 cut off when the snare hits. This is so useful when you want to make more room for other instruments without having to sacrifice the punch of the 808. Now that we're talking about punch and presence try adding the fruity fast distortion effect to the 808 but hold on don't just leave it that way. Decrease the mix knob so that the distortion will work very subtle. If you want to take this effect to the next level, right click the mix knob in the effects rack and select create automation clip. You want to use this mix knob instead of the one of the effect because you don't want to mess up the sound we created. Now we have control over when and how much distortion the 808 will receive. For example, I want way more distortion in the chorus because there's a lot going on there, thus more difficult for the 808 to punch through. Now the 808 pattern sounds really hard but once you've heard it a few times it will get really boring and that is why you need to do this. Create one simple pattern that only follows the root notes. Create another one with much more detail, slides, stutters, but keep in mind that there has to be enough space for the artist to rap on. A stutter sounds really nice right here before the end of the loop. You can place the notes yourself or you can use the chopper to chop up the note. You can make it sound even better by messing with the velocity curve. Now if you alternate between these two patterns we created, the 808 will sound hard every time it switches up, which means the listener will stay interested. And wait, you can emphasize this effect even more by using this cool effect. Find the fruity love filter and add it to your 808. With the cutoff knob you can cut off the high frequencies and the more you turn it down the more frequencies will be cut out. Create an automation clip and put it underneath the simple 808 pattern. Now make the highs cut off slowly for the entire pattern and when the second pattern hits you let the highs back in. Now the listener will barely notice that the highs are being cut off but as soon as the next bar hits the 808s will sound a lot harder. Okay, these are all industry level techniques that not a lot of producers talk about so I want you to remember them and use them in your own beats. Of course this juicy information doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to make your 808 and kick work together. Good thing you can simply go here because I made a video about that where you can learn everything. Gotta go now. Goodbye.